Hello traders, hello traders, the title of the video is Market Geometry Trader looks back at his Boeing stroke analysis. Before we start, I would like to take this opportunity to wish traders a very, very happy new year 2019. All right, this is very, very, very happy new year to you all. And those of you that have been sharing our video, you are number one. Happy new year to you all. Those of you that have been watching our video, okay, put in comments, all right. Happy New Year to you all, all right? I have paused this channel, the Pro Traders channel, for a while because uh, everything in life should rest for a while. Or right? normally in January to uh, mid February, I'm busy working on our website. But as I'm doing that, I will also be posting videos at the Pro Traders, okay, YouTube channel. And then at the same time, I will be posing the 248 wave youtube channel or maybe i'll be posting one video a week okay something like that but i will be more active at the portrait uh, uh, from from the from the from the, uh, the get-go all right from the beginning of the year as i'm doing now all right that's what i'm going to do this year because uh, that channel has rested very much so it's time to wake him up all right and to start uh, posing posting live tutorials so i'll be posting uh, live videos about uh, fibonacci trading all right we'll be looking at that i'll be posting live videos about uh, cci trading i'll be posting live videos about uh, rsi trading but i need to remind traders that uh, when we are live recording it's time consuming all right so don't expect it every day all right so once in a while i'll do that because you just hold everything, or okay? you have to babysit the chart, all right, and pause the video, and so on and so on. So, I'm not just trying to show my trade to trading. What I'm trying to do is for educational purposes, I will show some of the trade that are very difficult, some of the trade that are very messy. So, sometimes they really mark the live video down, but because they don't understand what we are trying to do, uh, we want them to see it. It's a difficult trade. We take it. Sometimes you may see a losing trade, sometimes it may be a winning trade. And also, you see sometimes how we go through the pressure of day trading. So, the video may not. Uh, seems like uh, okay interesting to people but uh, there is a message which is educational message that we are sharing when we are live recording the video all right let's get started market geometry trader looks back at his Boeing stock analysis so I'm on a monthly chat all right so trader that have been following me for some time know that uh, I leave my line on my chart sometimes a bit too much and I've done the same thing for okay Boeing stock. So you may say, John, why are you looking at Boeing? But because Boeing is a market leader for the Dow Jones index. So if you are trading Dow Jones index, or if you consider yourself as an indices trader, you want to know what are the market leaders that are controlling okay that sector. For instance, you are trading in the FTSE 100. The financials, the banks, all right, will propel okay the FTSE 100 up because London is the financial center. For the Dow Jones index, if you want to know more, I don't want to dwell on it. Go to www.dprotrader.com, click on Market Watch, and go through everything there so you may understand the market leaders for the Dow Jones and also for. A Nasdaq 100. So Boeing is a market leader. So I analyzed it before. I use a market geometry. For traders that are very new to us, you may say, "John, oh, we are, what are you talking about? Market geometry?" Yes. Go to www.dayprotrade.com. Click on the web page that we title "Market Geometry," so you may understand what we are talking about. So on this chart, I use Pitchfork tool. So if you are using market geometry, all right, you must use Pitchfork tool. In fact, if you want to be a fully fledged technical trader, you must incorporate the PFOC tool uh, to your trading tool. In fact, if you look on YouTube or on the web, you will see many videos from a day pro trader YouTube channel about uh, the PFOC tool trading. There is also a playlist about PFOC tool trading. All right, so here it is three point, first point, second point, third point. So, 
you can see my uh, orange uh, p for two i put it on this chart on the monthly chart i use the monthly oh now i'm on a quarterly chart okay all right i'll stay there because i already start uh, started from here i will not change it so i'm on a quarterly chart for a boeing all right did you spot that before good so i'm on a quarterly chart three points so we have that orange there now, okay so what we have done you see that by using market geometry, some trader may say, George, I already know what you're about to trade, to talk about, but I want to encourage you at the beginning of 2019, okay, to use more market geometry and the PFOC tool. So we measure the width. Okay, you see this, the width of the PFOC tool or any channel. We can measure the width of a triangle, the width of a, a horizontal channel, the width of a rising channel, width of a declining channel, the width of a, okay, uh, P42, and if the price goes up, we project in the direction of the price, and we draw a line that is parallel to the first channel. You see, that's the line that I draw that is parallel to the first channel. By doing so, what we are trying to do, because professionals are doing it, we are trying to find out whether the resistance level, resistance and support level. You say, George, I know about resistance and support level. Have you been using it? Because if you want to buy, which I recorded a video recently that I posted that, uh, was it Joe Trio channel? I think it was a Joe Trio channel. I put them on Joe Trio. How to identify, okay, a very good shop level. Check out that video. How to find a very good shop level. There was another video that I posted how to find a very good resistance key level like a pro. Also posted at Joe Trio channel. I believe that uh, those two videos are the most essential video that a trader must watch, whether they, he or she is day trading or swing trading or whatever. So, traders also talk about level two trading. So, they want to know when they should buy and when they should sell, whether they order to sell, whether they order to buy. The orders to buy are usually at a very good shop level. The order to sell are also at a very good resistance level. So if you want to know where it will be your best bearish trading signal or where will be your best uh, uh, bullish trading signal, you want to know where are the best support and resistance level. So when we are using the market geometry like this, we want to find out where are the possible resistance level and also to set a target level because when the price is going down, it's always looking for a, a target level. And it works beautifully. And also, if you are using market geometry and a P42, all right, you will not be violating the market patterns. I'm not talking about here about the chart pattern. I'm talking about market pattern. There are three market patterns: the rising channel, the declining channel, and the horizontal channel. Those this is about market profile. So, one of the biggest trading mistakes that a technical trader are making: they are violating the market. So you don't want to to do that. I remember when I started trading first years ago, there was a time when I, I was busy selling, you know, whatever I was doing, buying or selling. And at the end of the day, I look at the chart and I draw a trend and I say, what? I shouldn't be doing that. I was violating the market the whole day with my MACD, all right? Eight, uh, I'll use MACD 8. Instead of the standard MACD 12, I was on my 3 minute time frame using the MACD setting 8 to 9. All right, so this is it. Use the market. So, talking about uh, going back to the topic that we are discussing, this is a discussion for those who want to master market geometry. All right, market geometry trader looks back at uh, his Boeing stock analysis. So, you will draw your, your people too, you will project them. I can project them already. You see, all these lines were on my chart before the price even reached those levels. So, like now, I can just project it one more time above it. The price did not break above it yet, but I can just draw another line there. Why do we do all this? Why do we look back at our previous technical analysis? Why we do not remove our lines? You see? So one day, trader will analyze the chart, they will do everything correctly, and then they will remove all the line. By doing so, you are going backward. You miss all the information. So now that I'm looking back, you can see that the price, you see, so the top of the first projected channel is this one here. See? That's the top of it. Right? So the mid, as the price breaks above here, the first channel, if you find a support, 
main target is the media line of the projected channel. The ultimate target is the top of the channel. Now, if it goes above that a second, this a first projected channel here, where is the midpoint target? You see? Here. Okay, that's the midpoint target. So you may say to me, Joe, how do we use up, use those information? You are talking about theory now, Joe. How do we use that when we are day trading scalping? You want to look for trading opportunity around those key levels, whether you are day trading scalping. And you'll be surprised how those things are happening. So you see here, so the, <laughs> did you get it? So the price, you see, is just like a magnet, you see. Uh, don't get confused, my friend. All right, don't get confused because the second projected channel is this one now. You see now? So, professional know that this zone is likely to be a resistance level. Before, here, they were expecting me to find a resistance, either first at the media line or here. And if you find a support above the media line, they, they will be giving priority to bullish signal above it. Next target there. This is how you want to trade. You are looking for trading setup in the vicinity of those key levels. But you want to map it out first, looking at the uh, using the market geometry, okay, pitch for two, channel projection, and here it is. So again, now you see this Boeing, as it's here, people will try to sell it. They will be looking for trading setup Trading opportunity, if there is one, you see here, multiplicity bar. So on a daily chart, the price went down for a while and close here. Again, following my price went to the server. Though. People saw it down again. There was a there was there was a, a sell signal here and also here. Whether one is day trading, stream trading on the edge. So when you are using market geometry, you are not trading blindly anymore. You start doing things correctly. And again, here, that's what they saw. It went a little bit above it, you see. So now again, you see, if we project our channel one more time, we have again another media line there. Are you getting it? Are you getting it now? And I can leave it on my chart like this. So what I've done, I'm mapping out my chart ready. So if, for instance, you are using TSCW24, TSCW as well as your A, it is compulsory that you look for high probability to sit down on the edge, either at the target level or at a, a very good support level or very good resistance level. If you see a trading signal anywhere, ask yourself, is it happening at a very good key level or not? This is the G. Whether you are talking about market orders, where are the buyers, where are the sellers, where is, where is, is it like, where are we likely to see a surge in trading volume? It's all here in the price action. And if you use the market, journey. so here you see now, so as they sold it finally, they sold it big time here. So the first time they sold it here, they are selling here. If it's going down, what will be the target? The first target, midpoint target, media line again. If it find a resistance below the media line, they will bring it to the next level. That's what they done here. So they sold it at the top here, First target here, all right? If he failed to find a support, here he did find a support, here he did find a support, here they couldn't sell it. Now the story here is going down, first target midpoint. If he break below, he find a resistance, where's the next target? You see? So he start knowing a little bit what the price is likely to do. So now we are stuck below the media line, and that kind of see bar is closed. So what do you think is likely to happen? The professional may try to retest that media line, and if he find a resistance, the next month, they will try to push it back down again one more time, and this will be the first target. Again, if they bring it above the media line, this is it, the media line, it, it priority bullish signal above this media line for the, 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 the Boeing, the stock, I pray to bear it not below. So if you find a support above it, they will take it to the next level, you see? So we are now in the middle of it, and they can bring it down, or they can bring it up. Now it's close below it, which means it break below it. Will on the daily chart can we see a retest? Alright? And then they take it down. Alright, you see? Another thing I want to say to trader, the reason why I'm bringing out a, a Boeing a stock is because it's a market leader of the Dow Jones. So I'm talking about industry trading. 
So what should go into the mind of somebody who is trading down Jones if a market leader is at a recent zone? The person may say that, well, uh, one or two or three of the market leaders of the Dow Jones are in, are in a resistance zone. So the market today may turn around. It doesn't mean that it will definitely go down. You may say it may turn around. But if he breaks above it, he may, if he finishes the support, then we will buy. So here, when the, one of the leaders of uh, the Dow Jones components is at a resistance zone, we want to be careful. We don't want to buy Dow Jones anywhere, anyhow, because if a market leader is becoming very bearish, it can drag okay, the index down. Most importantly, if you have two or three leaders of that okay, index becoming bullish, the, the market has a high chance to go up. That's why sometimes people will be trading, for instance, okay, uh, that is the 100 index, and they see a beautiful, gorgeous, bearish trading setup, then the price will turn around and start going up. Why? Because probably either Apple stock or Google stock start going up big time. Or sometimes you will see that the market will go down first, or a one market index will go down in the first half of the market. And then after the break time, all right, talking about uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time or, or 1 p.m. London time, and then the people come back and then the market start going up because probably some of the leaders start becoming bullish. And then as they start becoming bullish, here it is. So, you see, so with the market leaders are market indicators, all right? They are, they are, they are, they are, the, they are like the engine of the index. So there are many stocks. So for the Dow Jones index, we have 30 stocks, yes, no, yes or no. For the Nifty 50, we have 50 blue chip stocks. So you want to find out which, okay, stocks, uh, the, the, the leaders that are pushing it down or up, what? Right? What? Right. So, because they are the heavyweight, heavyweight uh, components, all right? So, looking at my, uh, okay, uh, looking back at my uh, Boeing stock analysis, this is what we will say to traders, use market geometry, map up your chart, all right, and draw a trend line and make decisions, okay, around a key levels, all right, around key levels. Very simple, all right? So at this junction also, before we wrap it up, one thing I will say to trade it, apply Fibonacci, okay? Retracement to this price move, and highlight the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. Here it is. All right? The 50% Fibonacci retracement level is a psychological price level that divides the price action from here to here into two zones. The bull is on above, and above the 50%, the bear is on below it. So all you are doing, you are just mapping on the chart. All right? Is that too much ask? I don't think so. There is one more pitchfork too, before I wrap it up, for those of you who are trading uh, uh, Boeing. Okay, so I can choose uh, uh, just this point here. You see this point? Uh, let me tell you the mouth. Uh, this is uh, December 2012. Okay, that's my. You choose that first line there, and then you choose uh, the low here, and uh, we use. Okay, this this won't be useful for us. We can leave it like this. Okay, this low of March 2016 and the high of uh, March 2015. Right, and then you draw, okay, you see, so you leave that, you can leave that pitchfork to there. See the brown one, leave it there. So you see, apart from the market geometry, if you can't start coming on, this is this zone here. This is a hot spot trading zone, why? Because we have intersection of the media line of the first projected channel and that new uh, pitchfork tool that can attract the price there. Where we are now, there's another hot spot trading zone, here it is, intersection, okay. Uh, you see this closing price here, and that, uh, okay, media line of, uh, is it? Uh, where am I? I'm lost. Uh, and the top of uh, the first projected channel. This is, again, a hot spot. So what the price has done, the price pushed down to the first hot spot in the zone. 
So in this point in time, we'll say to trade a priority to bullish signal above the level of 29526. But remember that it break below that uh, media line here. We will it retest it okay, at the beginning of the year in front of resistance okay, before coming down? Or will it go back up okay, to retest it all the way up here? All in all, you are just very patient until you see a clear cut trading setup. And then from there, you will implement a different time frame trading method to trade it. So this will conclude our discussion today about a market geometry a trader looks back at his Boeing stock analysis. In the next tutorial, we will be analyzing another okay, Dow Jones uh, leader. I'm doing this exercise so trader may see okay, uh, the influence that the market leaders can generate in the financial market. Many stock traders are trading and they don't know what is moving the market. Okay, uh, this is one example here uh, that you need to know. So we'll be looking at another Dow Jones index uh, market leader. All right. So see you in the next tutorial. If this video has been truly, totally, truly totally useful to you, please uh, don't go away. Let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you dislike it, mark it down. If you think uh, this is an essential tutorial that can help uh, other uh, traders, uh, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. I really like traders that are sharing our video, and I say to you, thank you very much. Another thing I want to say to traders, uh, uh, I have posed the pro traders uh, YouTube channel for a while because uh, I see that uh, there was not too much interaction. At the beginning, there was a lot of interaction, and then there was a bit of, uh, all right, should we say that uh, people was a bit quiet okay so at two four in your way the trader are quite active they are asking questions i like the interaction so if i see that trader be, become a little bit quieter i post the channel all right then i go to a channel where i see more interaction so if you want us to continue to post more video at day pro traders your interaction is very important for us so i'm not the only one talking to you guys so i know what is happening all right so we can keep okay the momentum going all right if you have not yet subscribed to our channel our channel is the pro traders youtube channel subscribe and be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we are live streaming a pre-recorded video you will be the first person to be notified so you can be there on time okay to watch the live okay the youtube premiere okay Sometimes I post video first on Facebook, sometimes first on YouTube. And my Facebook page is stochastic macd Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 uh, traders talking about market geometry trader. Looks back at his Boeing stock analysis. See you in the next tutorial. Happy trading to you all. Happy New Year 2019 to you all. Thank you for watching.